up my lovelies? Welcome back to Fabulex. If you enjoy this video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to join the Glam Fam as well just to catch more of my videos as they come and go. Stay tuned to find out how I got this pointillism look, y'all. Here we go. As you can see, I already have my eyebrows on, but there's a tutorial for that, y'all. I got you. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add some smashed peas to the redness to our faces. Nah, it ain't peas, y'all. Some color correcting, some greenness to color up the redness, you know. Blend it out with a buffering brush. I don't know why I decided to use a brush. I, it's just something different. I didn't, I think it was just something I grabbed. My ride or die foundation, the two-in-one correct and perfect foundation by Milani. Yes, ma'am, yes, ham. Just all up in here with the goodness. Go ahead and blend it out with a damp beauty blender. Moving on to concealer, cover up all the dark circles, get a little depth to the face. Well, actually, this is bringing it out. My bad. Y'all, I'm just contouring, you know what's up. I love this weightless concealer by Urban Decay. It's just perfect, perfect. It blends out really well. It doesn't crease. A great, great match for highlighting. The booty blender. Blend, blend, blend. Now lately I've been using this contour brush to set my concealer. I've been using the NYX Set It and Don't Fret It finishing powder. So far it's been very kind to me. It's been a while to figure out how to use it and how much was too much and how much was too little and all that jazz. Set the rest of my foundation. I'm using the Fit Me Set and Smooth Finishing Powder by Maybelline. This stuff is just amazing for, you know, softening all the fine lines that I have on my face. I'll let everything bake for a little bit with my fake watch, you know. For the black dots today, I'm using the NYX Eyeshadow Base in black and then this pointed felt tip tool. I don't know exactly what to call it, but it was kind of rounded. It was the only thing I had in my toolbox that was round ish. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to use this. This will work. And it took a little bit to figure out how to get it. And the dots weren't perfect circles, but whatever. It was just fun. So right now I'm kind of outlining the border of the shape, I guess, that I want the dots to be in. So I was just kind of going for, you know, some kind of design that was accentuating the features of my eye area, nose area type thing going on. Now this whole dots thing going on, this is a technique called pointillism. It's actually a painting technique and it's when you use a bunch of distinct dots of color and they are applied in a pattern to create a bigger image. So you use a bunch of dots to create like an image of a man or something like that. And in this case, I just decided to do something a little bit more, you know, impressioned, I guess. And this technique was actually stemmed from Impressionism by a couple of artists in the late 1800s. So I just decided to do a little fun, little modern take on it. My friend of mine shared an image with me, a little photo of somebody that had done something that was similar to this. And I decided just, you know, just my little take on that. And then I had also previously seen Kat Von D's YouTube video. I can link that in the description box as well, where she did a pointillism technique, where she did her entire face with just a bunch of dots, with her concealer as dots, foundation as dots, blush, etc. And I thought that was so cool. I just thought I'd try something like that. Decided to create a mask, if you will. For my eyeliner today, I'm using the Razor Sharp Long Wear Liquid Liner, and this is in the color Bump. It's actually just a white eyeliner. I don't know where the word Bump and white would really go together, but you know, it's whatever. Urban Decay, do your thing. And this was my first time using this eyeliner, so I had to do a little bit of adjusting with the whole tool that I was using. It was a lot shorter of a handle than I was used to, and the consistency was a little different. And I used a little too much of the eyeliner and then it started to clump. And then I had to set it with some white eyeshadow just to get a little bit more pigment and set it just in general and switch between two different brushes, one fluffy brush and then a flat definer brush. And I was like, oh, now I had to clean it up with some concealer because I got a little nasty hands going on and shakiness. But you know, breathe a little bit, it's okay. We got through it, made a match. That's the moral of the story. I've been wanting to practice more with white eyeliner and layering different colors on top of things so you know practice makes perfect just not sure how to work this eyeliner yet we'll get there and i opted out of fake lashes today so i decided to use my superhero mascara which i know for a fact makes my curly lashes all kinds of luscious and long kind of tames them too a little bit went ahead and applied that a couple of layers 
For the lips today, we're using the color Alien from the Liquid Suede Lip Cream by NYX. And I went ahead and applied this, and then I actually set it later with some black eyeshadow, but I lost battery power for my camera, so you didn't catch that. And then the white dots were just extra optional. Little Fabulex flair. But that's it for this tutorial. Give a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Give a share too if you like. Stay beautiful inside and out.